Hi, I want to show you my uh, uh, my Bixler 2 that I'm currently building right now for my brother. This is my sixth Bixler airframe, and this is the fifth that uh, will be FPV uh, equipped. So let's go through the equipment that I use. If you see that blue thing over there, that's Cyclops. Uh, tornado, not storm, Tornado OSD. The difference is that uh, if you see there's a, a tube there, it goes to uh, the air sensor in the, in the tornado. And that goes through that pitot tube over there. So what it gives you basically is on the OSD, it'll show you the airspeed. So yeah, that's uh, the Tornado, uh, Cyclops Tornado OSD. For control, I am using a uh, have a spare range link 433 megahertz UHF system this is the first uh, UHF system that I use and it's, it's very reliable uh, and uh, the transmitter is basically connected to a Turnigy 9x uh, transmitter over there so uh, the range link uh, transmitter is at the back connected by that PPM if you notice, I'm not running a few wires, I'm running uh, six servo uh, wire connectors. That one over there is the uh, RSSI and then the four uh, control uh, control wires, uh, rudder, aileron, elevator and throttle. The fifth one is for changing flight modes. Now for this uh, for this OSD, a tornado, a Cyclops tornado, I had to uh, downgrade it to version 1.09, I believe. The reason being is that I don't want to have uh, the loiter flight mode uh, because uh, it is very complicated to do uh, switching or mixing in this uh, transmitter. So with four flight modes which is manual, PA, autopilot, and return to home, I can put it into a uh, dial knob on the 30 g uh, transmitter. So let's go inside. That would be the current sensor over there. And then I'm running a, uh, a BEC here that uh, powers the this side of the the OSD. So if you are familiar with the Cyclops uh, Tornado, this side is being powered by usually the servo connector from your ESC. In, in this case I, I use a separate back. Now there's a bit of a, not a hack, but a tweak that I did. I got separate power from this side of the current sensor to feed this side of the OSD. If you notice that uh, I'm feeding uh, separate 12 volts, it's not separate, but it's also coming from the flight back, but I basically hijack a, uh, or connected a uh, positive and negative lead wires from the out of the current sensor and fed them to here. Remember, if you're gonna do this, middle pin is positive and bottom pin is, uh, is negative. Uh, for video, uh, it's all reliable TS832, TS832 5.8 gigahertz, and uh, omnidirectional. I think this is uh, left hand polarized, you know, from eBay or Hobby King. This is uh, using a Turnigy AE30 amp. I did uh, a bit of a uh, testing a while ago and uh, it, it does heat up a bit but you know when it's up in the air there will be uh, airflow so I'm not really overly concerned about that and what I did was to actually cut 
the plastic cover for this part so that there will be more airflow uh, when it's up in the air. That's the GPS module for the tornado. And uh, this is being powered by a 24, or sorry, 2200 kV Turnigy uh, motor. And initially I will use a 7x4 uh, APC prop. Although, uh, once I get it all assembled, I'll probably go either 7.5 seven, uh, or 7.3, but we'll see. For the camera, this is uh, from Security Cameras 2000, 600 TVL. It works well with uh, the Tornado OSD. I have tried using a 650 and a 700, and uh, it, it is something wrong with how the I think it's not compatible with a tornado because the fonts are kind of faint when they uh, when you power them up. So that is uh, and this one here again. This is a uh, like the control buttons for the tornado OSD. Before uh, it was just dangling here and. Uh, you know, pull it out whenever because you need to press the button there to set your home location so I just hot glued it here uh, to be you know easily accessible so yeah this is uh, this is my sixth uh, Bixler 2 build